And today, I would like to tell you about Rust. I would like to tell you and I would like to uh, show you some instruments which can help us to build a, some conversation around Rust. I know that it's very important for us, I mean, for Agile culture, for Agile management to grow trust. And we talk a lot about trust, how to, it's important, how to build, but you know, when we try to implement something in our environment, it's very hard, yeah? It's very hard. It, trust, uh, to build the trust takes a lot of time, demands a lot of time, but we can destroy it immediately. Okay, and uh, today I would like to tell you a little bit uh, about our new instrument, but before, uh, how many uh, tables we have? Six. Guys, we are, come on. Come on. Okay, uh, each uh, table has uh, sticky dots. Please, feel free, take one sticky, I mean, uh, color dots, this, this one, and uh, put your dot on this trust matter. It's for you, for your part, and this is for your part. Where you think you are now, on scale from zero to 10 of trust with your team, okay? No, no, your team, your team. Okay, ready? One, one, one dot. You can use only one dot. What is the color suggestion? It doesn't matter. Up to you. Okay? Yeah, one, one dot on this scale, okay? How do you feel? How do you see me? Yeah, yeah. Five minutes. It's, a, it's, a, it's our workshop. We will do a lot of exercise. It's your first challenge. Come on. Uh, no, no, no. I mean uh, for your for office team. Yeah. For, yeah. Because uh, how you can estimate your feeling about your trust. Yeah. No, no, uh, work, work, work team, work, work yeah. team, work team, because we don't know each other. Yeah, exactly, we s and it will be our next challenge. <laughs> okay. What is my camera? What is camera? Okay. 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 How was it? Is it difficult to estimate? No. No? no. Cool. Awesome. But why? We know. We know. We know. Exactly. We know. But when we try to ask uh, our colleague to estimate us, what do you think? Is it hard? Okay. Uh, let's consider our uh, today agenda. Uh, we will talk about trust. This is a workshop. We will do a lot of exercise, and I. Hope uh, you can find very interesting instruments for your real environment. Uh, the main the main goal to introduce you a very interesting model, which uh, we I mean we uh, as our company and usual concepts uh, we called trust team trust canvas. Uh, it's a really canvas because you know in our agile environment we. Uh, like to use different canvas, product canvas, lean canvas, gamification canvas, etc. And we decided to prepare team trust canvas. Uh, uh, we will talk about uh, what is trust, and we will do a little exercise about it. Then we will uh, consider how to take trust in action and why it's important, how to prepare an action plan. Then we will uh, consider how to recover trust. Because you know, sometimes we destroy all our sins and we will consider how to re recover trust. And uh, at the end we will consider, uh, we will have a little retrospective around our uh, workshop. Maybe we consider different questions, okay? 
And uh, firstly, I would like to ask you, what does it mean trust for you, guys? Okay, good, good. Another, another idea? Okay. Leaving something. Leaving something? Okay. I feel safe by sharing anything. Okay. <laughs> Look. Uh, Dependability. Okay. Look, we have uh, a lot of uh, different points. Different points. It's, in, in, it's important. Uh, before we uh, try to build a trust, it's important to understand what does it mean trust to us. Yeah, exactly. Because we can consider trust from different perspectives. Firstly, we as a manager, we will trust our, we will try to trust our people. We will uh, invest a lot of time how to build a trust environment, how to uh, give them some power or something. Then, from the other side. We should earn a lot of trust from our people because we are a manager. We should uh, do some things in order to earn and to be commitment to, I don't know, to be responsible for our task, for our uh, action in our work, really. The next perspective, the next level, how to help them, I mean our team, to grow the trust. How to build a new kind of environment, how to uh, improve a trust climate in our team. It's very, uh, it's really, it's very important, but it's very hard to do. And the last, but not the least, trust yourself. Firstly, before you will try to improve something in your work, ask yourself, what do you think about your values? How can I measure my trust to myself? Be honest, it's very difficult too. And uh, because we uh, organized different teams, I would like to ask you uh, to do some task. Let's consider we work as a team and we decided to implement new project. How we will align our trust? So your next exercise, try to build your trust metaphors or trust shapes, I don't know, everything using Lego. And after that, write three things which can characterize your trust model. Okay? Ready? 15 minutes. And guys, uh, I have another flip chart for our trust. After you will be ready to write three things about trust, just write on the notes and put on the, this section, okay? What is this? What is trust for you? Okay? Okay. Cool. It's, a, it's a difficult, yeah. What is it? Yeah, exactly. And why we try to use different pieces of, I don't know, Lego, maybe we can use a draw and other things. Because when we try to uh, express our uh, opinion about trust using different things, we can immediately align with our vision with all members. Now, what we uh, what we have, what what we have now? Any ideas? Okay, 
we considered about our trust. We uh, got some expression. What does it mean for us as a team? And uh, if we compare our expressions about trust, I think we can find another uh, different, uh, different ideas because we are people. We have a different point of views, and it's important. I would like to summarize. Firstly, before you try to start a process in order to build the trust, try to consider together what does it mean for us. And it's very important. Okay. Okay. The next. Trust in action. Uh, how to convert our ideas, what does it mean for us, how to convert, how to prepare some plans or some plan. I don't know. Uh, and I, I would like to tell you a little story about our instrument, how we crafted it. Uh, during the last year, we, as company, we had a lot of workshops, a lot of uh, classes with our with different uh, students from different countries. And you know, from workshop to workshop, I asked them to prepare to gather some ideas which uh, forces will uh, help us to build trust or improve our trust and which forces will destroy. And you know what I found, what, what really was uh, really interesting, I found that from country to country, from different students, uh, the factors which can help us to improve our trust was very, very similar and it's very really interesting because it uh, doesn't depend from any culture. It doesn't depend from uh, a maturity level of company. It depends, I don't know, maybe from common sense. And uh, which factors we have? We grouped these all ideas and decided to organize a little canvas around eight factors. The first factors, clarity. For some people it's important to build some transparency to build some clarity in the team. The next connection, it's all about a uh, new kind of communication, new kind of uh, relation between each team member and how we can listen, how we can observe, etc. And it's important. Compassion. In our environment, I mean, in our agile environment, we try to bring some empathy, some uh, empathy to understand how we can collaborate with each other and uh, will I ready to um, express some compassion to you. For some people, again, it's important. What about values? How we can uh, align our personal values in our team? Will we consider and we will, will we build uh, a new kind of values, maybe team values, or we will align our personal values? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, you're right. Because uh, for some people, again, for some companies, it's important to uh, prepare uh, some special uh, value for each team. But for some, it's, it's important to align personal values. I don't know. Uh, the next, competency. Uh, how we will uh, help each other to grow up as a professional. It's important, again. Commitment, what about responsibility? Uh, how we will uh, handle this, uh, our commitment and uh, how we will spread our responsibility to all our uh, team works, all our team tasks. Contribution. Uh, for some people, it's important to get some results from iteration to iteration, for example, to feel something which can be, uh, which uh, we can measure, I don't know. For some people, it's important. And they will trust us yes, if we have some uh, contribution or some results, if you will get some results from time to time. And the last, consistency. It's important to 
uh, work with uh, trust uh, like with the process, it's important to uh, improve our trust, to understand where we are now and what we have to do in order to increase our trust. And uh, what we decided uh, to do after uh, this uh, work where we gathered all information about factors, we decided to put on uh, some physical uh, uh, paper shoe because when we try to build a conversation, try to uh, start some collaboration around trust, for some people it's very hard to start it. And when people try to feel something, try to understand how to measure it, it helps them to start a conversation. And your next challenge will be very interesting. I will give you uh, a trust canvas and your, your task, uh, try to uh, prepare your action plan to the next project, you as a team, try to prepare a next uh, a, an action plan. What we will do uh, for your trust, okay? Just write uh, several ideas, put on the uh, flip chart on, on canvas, and then we will consider around it, okay? What you should do, uh, try to consider all aspects, all different aspects of our trust, and try to find any ideas, any actions uh, which you will do as a team in order to improve your trust. And look, uh, in the middle we have a questions. If you feel that something will be necessary but we don't, uh, didn't have it, feel free to put your ideas on question areas. Okay? For example, I, I have some examples. For example, if we try to align our trust, we will do some workshop in order to align our trust. It will be our next section. We can, okay? 20 minutes. Hmm? It will increase our trust. And we decided that on the wall we will put all uh, information around project about our class. Yeah. Any ideas? Yeah. Yeah. We can uh, use for what we are doing, clarity on that. And uh, what's in it for me? The organization is asking for something, but everybody needs to understand, have clarity about what is in, in it for them. Cool. You want me to keep going? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the connection, uh, how people would uh, be connected to each other, uh, one was face-to-face -face conversation mm, through co-location, community of practice, where people can exchange ideas, and also informal gatherings, where even if people are not working on the same team, um, or within same team or outside, they can have informal gatherings um, and be connected. Compassion was trying to understand everybody's uh, needs and uh, uh, sharing some uh, helping hands uh, with each other in the need. Values were defined, a uh, common set of values, uh, like transparencies, respect for each other. Uh, competencies uh, were like buddy programs where people can pair uh, to develop some newer skills. Uh, mentoring and coaching, like somebody's an architect, they work with tech lead to uh, help them develop certain skills, or an agile coach working with scrum masters. Um, uh, Cross-team trainings. Commitments were kind of uh, meeting the definition of done. Uh, okay. Uh, if you are committed to it, uh, commitment to abiding the values that uh, team uh, come up with. Um, and consistency is uh, meeting the 
commitments or the plans, like uh, sprint plans, uh, meeting those. Uh, being consistent with the quality of work that you're delivering, um, like number of uh, defects. If uh, it is one this brand, be consistent rather than having one and 10 in the next and 15 in another. So being consistent with your engineering practices, be effective yeah. in all those things. Yeah, cool, awesome. Look, uh, during 20 minutes, uh, we have prepared our team agreement. Yeah, around our trust, around uh, our all things which are important for us as a team. And now we can uh, measure it from time to time. We can come back and we can, I don't know, estimate our progress, etc. But we, during 20 minutes, we built a conversation. It's easy. OK, makes sense. Thank you. And the last hour challenge, the last hour exercise. Uh, what about? Uh, Recovering trust. Uh, from time to, to time, it's a pity, but uh, we destroy, sometimes we destroy our trust. And what we should do as a, I don't know, as a person, as a team member, in order to uh, recover our trust? What do you think? Any ideas? Transparent, cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Look, yeah, any ideas? Yeah, exactly. Have a conscious plan that once you accept it, like there's a problem, have a conscious plan to ensure how you fix it. Cool. Awesome. And I have uh, another uh, algorithm in order to in order to make an effort to build the trust, to recover it. Because I don't know, uh, it's, it, it will be very hard to recover trust and build some trust climate again because people tend to uh, betray sometimes and uh, they will, uh, uh, they will Express some some extra emotion in order to be uh, to recover trust. It's, it's it's very hard to overcome this barrier, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. Okay, and uh, this algorithm. Firstly. Uh, we should acknowledge that we have a problem because it demands a lot of courage sometimes, uh, but it will be our first step. The next, I should admit my part, my uh, part of responsibility because, uh, you know, trust is a two-way street and, and it's important to build a conversation with anybody, but firstly, Let's start from our trust, from our values. I should admit my part. And I should bring my apologies to you. Because, you know, if I didn't uh, destroy my part, it's very important to bring up some apologies. Because maybe I didn't understand you. Maybe I didn't make an effort to, in order to uh, clarify my requirements from you, my expectations from you. I don't know. But again, it's very important to apologize. The next, I should ask you, what do you think about it? What is your opinion about this situation? Because we try to gather all, uh, both sides, we try to understand how to align our new relations. And the last, I will agree. And we, you will agree. We will build our plan to recover our trust. We will, plan, we will build our uh, plan, uh, action plan. But it's important to build, to agree what we will do the next. And uh, the next exercise for you, uh, I have several anti-patterns cards. It's uh, 
anti-pattern uh, patterns which can destroy our trust. It's a uh, little cases. And I will give you these cards and you should uh, consider what you will do in order to recover the trust in th from this for this situation. What you will do as a manager, uh, as a team, as a whole team, or you will prefer to gather together and you will consider as a manager plus team. I don't know. And write your solution, write your ideas on uh, one uh, sticky notes and we will build some trust grid around it, okay? Work to work together to create an action plan. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a it, it's a test for uh, your attention. <laughs> okay. Uh, look. Uh, Uh, it will be our grid, uh, trust grid. There we will put uh, our solution for different level, and there we will put our. What you will do for to in order to avoid it in the future, as a manager, as a team, or we will prefer to work with uh, together. Okay. Uh, we will, uh, I don't know, we will uh, try to recover our trust as a manager or we will consider all parts. I mean, we will consider together as a team or and plus manager. What do you think? Cool. It's important. It's important to understand that in order to recover our trust, in order to improve different things, it's important to gather together and talk a lot about our problems, issues. And again, let's try to uh, build some new kind of conversation with our management, with our team using different, different instruments. Okay, that's all. My last uh, task for you, uh, you can walk around uh, you can uh, take uh, pictures, etc., and uh, try to find one important thing for you, and uh, write on the sticky note and put on our roti matrix. If you know what is this, okay? And if you want to uh, uh, to get any templates from me about canvas about this anti-patterns cards, feel free. I have a business card and I will send you because it's public uh, knowledge for all of us. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think in, have you read uh, the book uh, Trust Wage by David Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The yeah. Of, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And you know, uh, fantastic because uh, it's uh, very it's similar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.